guys, this is Vivek from Gizbot and what you can see on screen today is Lava Iris Pro 30 Plus smartphone which has been launched by Lava uh, last month uh, around August and uh, it's priced at Rs 11,990 and this is one of the best smartphone uh, to buy around the price of Rs 12,000 uh, with the camera as it comes with a beautiful camera 13 megapixel that I'm talking about and today what we're gonna do is unbox the device and show you the inbox content and the features of the phone as well but before do doing that let me uh, read you a few features that I mentioned in the retail packaging at the back so you get Android uh, version Jelly Bean 4.2 that's the uh, drawback of the handset uh, apart from that you get a pretty decent uh, specification you get a 1.5 uh, gigahertz of quad core processor you get 30 megapixel of rear camera and 1 GB of RAM and 2000 mAh uh, LiPo battery so uh, let's go ahead and unbox the device and show you how it looks okay there I feel it that's the Lava Iris Pro 30 Plus and a very neatly packaged uh, device. Yeah, Lava has also offered a flip cover that's like leather and leather and plastic uh, built, and it comes with a stand uh, feature. You can see that. So that comes free with the device, and you get a user's guide. Okay, you have a pair of headphones out here, which is not and uh, a regular in-ear headphones but just a uh, regular uh, earbuds so uh, we'll keep it here and that's a wall charger so that's the micro usb to usb out so uh, lava is also offering a free protective uh, display protective display cover out here which also Gione is offering off late with all its devices so basically what you get uh, in, in the box are these contents. Okay, the neatly packed phone. This is basically how the iPhone, uh, previous generation of iPhones uh, normally look like. And let me switch it on. Okay, by the time it gets switched on, let me run through the specs and uh, details about the phone. First of all, it comes with 4.7 inch of HD IPS display which is based on OGS panel. And uh, it also is protected by Dragon Trail Glass and it's powered by 1.5 GHz of quad core processor. That's a MediaTek processor and also uh, complemented by PowerVR GPU. It's complemented by 1 GB of RAM as well and runs on Android uh, Jelly Bean version 4.2. Uh, you have a 13 megapixel rear camera with a dual LED flash and at the front you get a 3 megapixel shooter. The phone actually uh, has an intense uh, in built-in storage that is 16 GB which you hardly uh, find in Indian smartphones and it can be further enhanced with 32 GB of uh, micro SD card as well. In terms of connectivity you get 3G Wi-Fi Bluetooth USB and uh, it's powered by 2000 mAh battery. The device is pretty thin if you can see that that's 7.9 mm thin and uh, weighs up to 116 grams. If you can see that the rim of the phone is uh, aluminium built and the rear side is plastic that's a removable uh, back panel you see that that's a very thin plastic you, you were seeing on screen and uh, you've got the battery there and it's a dual sim phone as well and you've got a micro SD card port out there as well you've got the sound grill down here okay that's basically it with the in with the gut of the phone let me put it back and uh, features okay as usual lava has this regular set in Chinese right now let me change it okay the phone is switched on if you can see that and uh, lava has not uh, tweaked the UI uh, as much as LG and Sony has been doing it off late you get the regular notification pan panel up here, down scroll and uh, you've got the settings. Let me show you the Android version. So that's Android version 4.2.1. Okay, if you can see that, 
A lot of smartphones have been launched in India with Android KitKat of late and at this price Lava is offering only Android version Jelly Bean so which could be a drawback for the phone uh, and uh, even in the sub category 6000 rupees uh, you're getting KitKat powered smartphone with a quad core processor and 1GB RAM from Xiaomi so it could be a little bit of a challenge for Lava to keep up with the market with this particular handset. Anyways, uh, let's see the camera UI and uh, it looks like a touch focus. Okay, that's a touch focus down there. You also get HDR mode. Okay. Uh, it's a regular lava camera UI which you normally find in all the lava devices. So here are the options. So you've got few features, HDR mode as well, if you can see on the left hand corner, there's HDR option and face lift, face detection, panorama and uh, quite a lot of features there. And that's a 13 megapixel camera and uh, if you swing into the front, okay here yeah, there, that's a 3 megapixel front facing shooter as well. Okay and back to the normal home UI so the phone is pretty decent in terms of touch and uh, power processor is good but uh, the downside of the phone as I said earlier is the Android KitKat version which uh, the company feels to use in this handset anyways that was the early unboxing of the handset will come up with a full-on review of the device uh, very soon and if you like the video do hit the like button you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and you can follow us on Gizbot, follow Gizbot on Twitter, Facebook and G Plus as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned guys.